Hi, welcome back. I found some wood tree cutouts at my local Target store and I thought these trees would be super fun to paint. I am using some craft paint from my local Michaels Arts and Crafts store and I am selecting several colors since I have six trees to paint. In order to get the paint to fluid consistency, I will be using latex-based flood flow trawl. I will strain the flow trawl into another container and then add it to some condiment containers to make it easier to work with. It is important to strain the flow trawl because sometimes it has some clumps in it and strings that we do not want in our paint. I will add the links to all the items I am using in the description box below. Feel free to use your own version of the items that you have readily available in your home. And as always, please ask me any questions that you might have along the way. Now it is time to mix the paint so it is a fluid consistency. I start by adding a small amount of the paint into a three ounce Dixie cup up to the line shown here. This is an approximate measurement, so don't worry about being exact. I am adding one color per cup. Don't forget to mix the paint before pouring it in the cup, especially if it has been sitting for a while. As you pour the paint, you will notice how each color has a different consistency to it. It's usually thick, hard to pour, and sometimes clumpy. Just do your best to pour the paint in the cup. Now it is time to add our pouring medium, which is the flow trough. I have drawn another line on my cup to help show you how much of it to add. After you added the paint to the line to the bottom of the cup, add the flow trawl until the cup is about halfway full. These are approximate measurements because as you've already noticed, each color of paint is starting out at a different consistency. The goal is to have all colors be as close to the same consistency as possible. Using the same measurement for each color is still going to have a different result. As you stir the pouring medium with the paint, you will need to scrape the sides and the bottom of the cup. Once it has been mixed, lift up some of the paint with your stick and pour it into the cup. If it is a steady stream flowing down, you are good to go. If the stream is still clumpy and hard to flow, Add a very small amount of water to help thin it out until the paint flows from the stick. If the stream appears too thin, add a bit more flow trawl until it thickens up. Remember, the goal is to have all the colors be the same fluid paint consistency and can flow from the stick once lifted. A good visual example would be to have the paints be the consistency of warm honey or maple syrup at room temperature. It is important not to rush the step and to make sure your paints are properly mixed. Just do the best you can and get it as close as you can. As long as the paints are fluid, you will do just fine with this project. If you are doing this project with your kids, have them start mixing their own paints and then ask them if you can check the consistency with them. Most kids will appreciate you letting them measure and mix the paints on their own and will love the help to check the consistency. Now it is time for some pouring fun. I am using two ounce solo cups and I will place one cup on each of my trees. In no particular order, I will start layering the paints into the cup by adding a small amount of paint to the cups. Keep layering and filling the cups until they are full. Okay, 
Now it's time to flip the cups. Using one hand to hold the paint cup and the other hand to hold the tree, place the tree on top of the cup and flip the tree and the cup so the cup is resting upside down on the tree. If you see a little paint spill out, that's okay. Let the paint rest for a few minutes. When you are ready, lift the cup straight up and let the paint spill out. Look how cool those patterns are. Now it is time to tilt the paint around the tree until the surface is covered. Go slow and have fun with this part. Tilt the tree slow, not fast. The goal is not to tilt all of the paint off of the tree, but to move the paint to cover the surface of the tree. If you tilt all of the paint off the tree, you will lose whatever design has been created so far. Don't worry about covering the edges at this point unless you want to cover the edges. We will be painting the edges and the back in the next step. Let the paint dry preferably for 24 hours before starting the next step. When the trees have dried completely, it's time to paint the sides and the back. I will be using green craft paint for three of my trees and metallic gold for the other three. Using a three quarter inch paintbrush, I will start painting the sides and the back of the trees. You will notice the wood still showing through the acrylic paint and that's okay. Once this layer dries, go back and add one more layer of paint to cover up any wood. This step will take some time, so grab a beverage and maybe a snack. If you are painting with kids, now is a good time to ask them how their day is going, how they're doing in school, or even turn on some of their favorite music and have fun hanging out with them. If you accidentally get paint on the front surface of the tree, use a paper towel and wipe it off while it's wet. If it leaves a shadow on the edge, that's okay. It will add a little bit extra uniqueness to the art. Let the paint dry, preferably 24 hours before the next step. Now that you have painted the front, the sides, and the back of the tree, it's time to seal the paint. To seal my art, I like to use Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear Enamel Spray Paint. It's easy to use, and it gives a shiny, clear finish that makes the colors pop back to life. Hold the can at least six inches from the surface and start spraying left to right, up to down in a continuous motion. Don't sit too long on any one area and don't get too close or the paint will drip and dry. When the first layer has dried, take a look. If you need to add another layer, go ahead and add another layer. I hope you've enjoyed this project as much as I have. I would love to see how yours turns out. Please join me on Facebook at the Paint Pour Academy Community Facebook group and share images of your art. I would love to see what you create. Thank you for painting with me and I'll see you in the next video.